A fundamental economic principle states that the value of something is determined by what the market is willing to pay for it. When it comes to humans, however, the market refers to other people, whether men or women. In other words, being a high value man is entirely determined by the influence you have on those around you. And it's not just about the money. It's more about your personality and how you use your wealth. You can be wealthy without being high value thus, character is the most important aspect of being high value. This is why there is nothing about money on this list. That being said, here are four things high value men do not do when interacting with women. Number 1. The Nice Guy Syndrome What does it mean to be a nice guy, a signal male, an alpha male, or a high value man? The truth is that no man fits neatly into any of these categories. This is partly due to the fact that they do not all mean the same thing to everyone. However, if you play the role of a nice guy, you will frequently find yourself in the friend zone. This isn't to say that you can't be a nice person and still attract women. And this is not to say that you should start acting rudely and annoyingly. It simply means that being strong, confident, and assertive is preferable to being a people pleaser or a pushover. There is a big difference between being a genuine nice guy who offers to help a friend and being Mr. Nice Guy who says yes to everything out of fear of being rejected. The problem is that in a 2011 study conducted by the University of British Columbia, women were asked to rate men based on their facial expressions. Surprisingly, one of the most attractive expressions observed by the women was that of pride. Number 2. Snideness. Most of us learned as children, if you can't say anything nice about someone, don't say anything at all. Because gossip has no value, high value men don't enjoy it. If you talk smack about your friends behind their backs to a girl, she'll be turned off and immediately wonder what you're saying about her behind her back. In other words, when you gossip about people behind their backs, you're shooting yourself in both feet. Instead of gossiping, practice the art of confrontation. It is not easy, which is why most people would rather not do it. Number 3. Unusual Pickup Lines Remember when TV shows like The Pickup Artist were popular? Flirting was all about being a douche and hoping that girls found it appealing. Most of the girls didn't have a good time. Pickup lines aren't necessary for high value men. They understand that they are best used as a joke, not as serious attempts to meet women. And they understand that cringe worthy pickup lines make you appear desperate and needy to the woman you're flirting with. What most guys don't realize about pickup lines is that women are much more likely to be turned on if you approach them like a well adjusted adult with whom they can imagine spending time. That's not to say pickup lines never work. But it's more of a hit or miss situation. Unfortunately, when using them, you're much more likely to miss than hit. As a result, if you want to progress from the initial conversation to a date or two with a woman, avoid pickup lines in favor of a direct personal approach. Number 4. Self Obsession High value men recognize the value of silence. They understand when to be quiet and listen, and when to enter the conversation with a relevant anecdote rather than a flimsy excuse to draw attention to themselves. There are numerous reasons why people talk endlessly about themselves, but the majority of the time, these reasons boil down to anxiety, insecurity, or a lack of confidence. Do you know how you feel when you visit a website and see three banner ads, an auto-playing video? and two pop-ups asking you to join their mailing list. Yeah ha broken bar when you're self-obsessed in social interactions, it's a huge turn-off. Take a step back and concentrate your words on others. In order to get them talking, ask them questions or talk about something other than yourself that they might be interested in. High-value men are comfortable in their own skin. They are aware of their own worth and recognize the importance of ensuring that the other person in the conversation is having a good time. Most men would go to any length to learn all of the strategies for attracting women. They don't realize, however, that when you become a high value man, attracting women becomes second nature. 
the cup lines are insignificant when compared to the right personality. I hope you like this video and make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on more amazing psychological videos and much more. Alright, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.